Devereaux, he's the uh, president and CEO of Canaccord Genuity, of course, the Canadian-based wealth management and capital markets firm. Welcome to New Jersey. Today. Thanks, for Thanks for having us here today. You just heard all the walls of worry that the economists have about the economy next year, the trade war, you know, slow growth, not only here, but in China as well. But yet you still see 10 percent growth for the stock market next year. Certainly, certainly, if you look at what our market strategists are saying, a low interest rate environment, an accommodative Fed, an environment where we still see record levels of cash on the sideline, predicts that the market overall for the next year, we could be at 33, 33, 50, 3400. So continued upside in the market, albeit Tons of volatility. Yeah, just not in a straight line. I yeah, guess. for sure not in a straight line. You've yeah. got record high valuations meeting record high cash on the sidelines. That means people are worried, but they still have money to spend. So then what will take this market higher by 10% next year? Sectors that you see opportunity? For sure. I mean, there's a whole bunch of sectors. If you look at, again, what our analysts are saying, you've got, you know, transformative sectors, technology sectors, where, where businesses have to transform. We're also big in the wellness sectors and healthcare sectors. Those are relatively recession-proof. Not that we see a recession, but they're going to do well no matter what, no matter what happens in the broader market. If there's a sector that you're in, identified with, I guess it would be cannabis. Yes. With all the work you've done in, in uh, helping these companies come to, to market, and I, I'm not making this up. This headline just showed up on my iPhone from USA Today that says, Willie Nelson has quit smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> well, good for there, Willie. Now, there's another wall of worry for, uh, for that. But, I mean, this has been a volatile sector as we await some more regulations, more laws. You know, the House just passed their version of the bill that would federally make cannabis legal here in the United States. So uh, where do you see this group going longer term here? Yeah, it, it has been an incredibly volatile sector, and certainly investors, you know, have, have suffered of late in that sector. But what's happening, like with any new sector, markets are, markets are determining who the winners are going to be and who the losers are going to be. And the winners generally are the well-capitalized companies. It's a massive industry. This is $20 billion in revenue this year. Like, people are going to make money with $20 billion of revenue. At the end of the day, people will make money. But not everyone's going to make money. And the problem is, I mean, we're proud of what we did. We took 100 companies public. Like, there's a lot of, you know, public companies out there that have raised billions of dollars. And now, you know, the industry's trying to figure it out. But you're right. There's a lot of good things that could happen. There's legislation that happened. There's state votes that happen on, you know, adult use. There's, you know, the vaping stuff going right, on right. And, the, and, and, you know, tracking down the illegal producers. So, you know, there's a lot of industry developments happening for sure. I was going to ask you actually on that point. How do you think Juul and the role it's playing in the rise of teen vaping has, has had an effect on the price action that we've seen in a lot of these cannabis stocks, which are trading at least 30 to 40 percent off of their recent highs? Yeah, for sure. Well, like I said, the, the, on the vaping side, I mean, it really hasn't been the legal operators that have been problematic. It's been the illegal problems. It's been the illegal operators, and they're not sure what's going in the product. So, you know, some certain states take a dramatic approach and cut everything off. Others, you know, try and take a more pro pro problematic, uh, problematic approach and figure things out. So it's really going to depend state by state. I'm not kidding. Willie, Willie Nelson, Nelson has <laughs> quit smoking weed. Apparently he discovered it's not good for you. I don't yeah. know. Whatever. Uh, Dan Davaro, the CEO of Canaccord Genuity. Thank